Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, lady, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon or good morning or maybe good evening from IKO APAC office, Bangkok. I would like to welcome all of you to the global webinar on ASAP performance organized by IFASI APAC office on International ASAP Day. That is today, 12 November. ICAO has always been involved in the recognizing the importance of the ASAPs to aviation at the global and regional level. ICAO document 10057, that is the Manual on Air Traffic Safety Electronics Personnel Competency-Based Training and Assessment, is one of the outcome of these initiatives. As for our document 10057, ASAP are de described as personnel proven competence in the installation, operation, and maintenance of the communications, navigation, and surveillance air traffic management system. As the fundamental infra infrastructure in support of air transportation, the ATM system is evolving towards the globally integrated and a collaborative system. We all agree that ASAP play a very significant role in the safe in the safe operation of CNS and ATM systems, and the effective performance of ATM systems depends on the competent and qualified air traffic management professionals. Several accomplishments has been achieved in the last few years. In February 2015, procedures for the implementation of the competency-based training and assessment for air traffic safety electronics personnel were firstly published as the procedure of air navigation service training that is a pans trg documents 1968 they provide the states air navigation service providers and the training providers with the guidance and how to structure the approach to the training and assessment of asset the, pr the procedure provides flexible framework that stake stakeholders can adapt to any local operational context and requirements. Some of the provisions already included in the PANS TRG are the genetic nature and can play to all aviation functions, including ATM personnel. ICAO APAC office is working for ASAP by incorporating them as the most important part the people in the pie chart of ANS infrastructure. ASAP topics has been added in our gender items of CNS subgroup meeting since 2016. The 31st meeting of Asia Pacific Air Navigation Planning and Implementation Regional Work, work Group, Eppenberg 31, in December 2020, adopted the conclusion Eppenberg 31-15 addressing human factor issues of ASAP recommended by CNS SG24. In response to the above mentioned conclusion, the state letter subject addressing human factor issues of ASAP was sent by ICAO APAC office, in which the state's administrations were requested to nominate experts to join the small working groups proposed by the above conclusion for preparing the, the ICAO H uh, K original ASAP human factors guidance material. That hub group comprised of eight state organizations and led by the IFASI has been working continuously with the support of KO Secretariat to draft the regional ASAP human factors guidance material. I hope we'll be able to achieve our ob uh, objectives in stimulated timelines for mutual benefit of all stakeholders. I would like to make a remark that webinars being recognized on multidisciplinary topics like human factors, human performance, and limitations are relatively less frequent. And international organizations like IFASI can make the collaborative effort along with the other international organizations so that the benefits of addressing these issues will be reaching all to the uh, reaching all the stakeholders. So I wish to re organizers and participants a great success and convey my best regards to appreciations to the ASAP 
on this International SF Day. Thank you very much.